sorry for the inconvenience. Did you hear that? You have them now. Well done. Uh... <laughs> 
double hit. By all the gods, Manakalan orchids. Clearly, they're correctly named.
spectacular place, isn't it? Everybody freeze. Are you kidding me? Master, here I am, at last. Itayella, come to me. We're gonna die here. Uh, uh. What's going on here? I have tried for years to open that door. And here you are, an answer to my prayers. It would almost lead me to believe in the benevolence of the gods. Albeit, my very existence proves otherwise. Can't say I'm surprised. Coming your way.
get. Die like the rest.
Well done. Good was.
You have my thanks, whoever you are. Oh, you're welcome, I guess. But your thanks for what, exactly? For reuniting me with Kitaela. For dealing with this foulness when I was incapacitated. This evil was new to me. Not something Manakalon ever knew. Reunited with her? Yes. Kitaela was, or even is, a part of me. Did you kill her? Careful now. No. It is also me speaking, my friend. And your care is much appreciated. Kitaela was your clone? I don't understand what happened here. Kitaela was a last-ditch contingency. One I didn't truly think I would ever need. A vessel for my knowledge and memories. But how did she awaken? A thousand years after the Cataclysm? The revival process was tied to an ambient level of mana. Very high level magic then. One of the secrets of the Arcanium, yes. Incapacitated? Yes. The merging process takes time. Time during which I was almost helpless. You never met such a creature before? No. Manakalon, for all its faults, revered life. This was a negation of life, an abomination. Manakalon, are you one of the... Adrastea, the prudent shield, Master of Abjuration, in your debt and at your service. You were at the Battle of the Rift? Yes. And there I must apologize for Kitaela's misconceptions. Misconceptions? Yes. She was created with an elven personality and carried certain prejudices. Oh, that. The Empire wasn't kind to other races. The humans surprised you, it seems. Yes. Such bravery. Such defiance. They all came together to save Celasta. The Golden Cavalry charging and breaking the lines of the Saur Akath. The Iron Legions and the Shield Wall of the Dwarves. Holding the enemy at bay, flank to flank. Our shock arcanists and the human paladins together, giving their lives to give us a chance to close the rift. And as another wave came through, one last throw of the dice, one last surprise for the sore Akath. What was it? Kasenax had us walking Celaster in elven form for so long, but at this moment, we resumed our true forms to secure the rift for a few crucial moments, buying time with our lives in a furnace of magic and steel, so Kasenax could finish his ritual. With the gems. Take it, old friend, once again. Old friend? I feel your spirit in the crown, Kasenax. The Magister is still in the crown? Enough talk of the past. Please accept these few tokens of my gratitude. I must rest now. I foresee one last flight when the need is greatest, and for that, I will need all my strength. Use my gate freely. I believe you know how. We shall meet again before the end. But before you take your leave, if you would be so kind, this creature you forced to flee still plagues my grounds with his minions. Would you deal with them and free their prisoners as a courtesy? We owe you that much. Thank you, Master Adrastea.
The projections, they're all gone. This must have something to do with Adristea's awakening. Hello, Arwen. Arwen? We're friends now? I'll keep calling you kid, I think. Suit yourself. I suppose you know the name Copperan? You bet. Apparently, you're indebted to someone there. An elf ranger. She calls herself Bitterroot. Oh, really? Something to do with her mood, maybe? She said you owe her 
A child. She's crazy. We just said we'd bring the message. She's still waiting. Yeah, thanks for the message. Maybe you would like to share a story with us? No, I don't. You didn't take her child away from her. You're out of line. I'd step back if I were you. All right, it's none of our business. She gave us this for you. What? I... I don't believe it. She went back for it. Feel more like talking now? Get out! Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? We'd like to stay for the night. Skies adventurers. Anything new for the Arcanian? Check this out. Stay in the light. Skies adventurers. We do require your services. I know that look. Something happened. Something bad. Clear skies, my... Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Stay in the light, my friends. Deputies, do you have anything for the circle? Take a look. Stay in the light, deputies. Deputies, do you have an? We do require your services.
Clear skies, my friends. You have some treasure in your backpacks? Feast your eyes on this. See you next time, friends. There's life yet, adventurers. Mariakis. Lady of life, a follower of the goddess. We do require your services. Honorable members of the council, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Lord Keenmind has the floor. Honorable members of the council, we at the Arcanium have gathered crucial information about this crown. This is indeed the crown of the Magister, belonging to Kaysenax, eternal soul of the Eight Traditions, ninth and last Magister of the Manakellan Arcanium. At the time, there were eight masters of magic, one for each of the old schools. In time of need, each master lent their gem to the Magister, the head of the Arcanium. Placed in the crown, they granted additional powers that enabled the Magister to cast spells or perform rituals of incredible power, such as the closing of the Rift from Tirmar. Indeed, now, there is some debate about whether the crown with all its gems could possibly open another rift, or even reopen the previous one. Nonsense. The rift has been closed for a millennium. So Laster paid a high enough price for that. Have you been to the Badlands recently? Order! Marshal Sunblaze has the floor. 
For our part, now that the existence of Sora Akath on Celasta has been confirmed, we have gathered proof that they are operating everywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms, including here, in the Principality of Mazgarth. Impossible! The Soraks are looking for the crown and its gems. That cannot be a coincidence. A powerful artifact, certainly. But reopening the rift? It took all the gods of Tirmar to open it. No one knows for sure what the crown can do. It's just a theory. As you know, it protects itself from our divination spells. That is one of its mysterious powers. Then why would the Sorax think they know better? Because they're Sorax. Their foul god, Sortar, knows. He is guiding them. We tried to leave him. And them. Behind on Tirmar. It seems we failed. Their people. Their culture. They must have been obsessing about this for a thousand years. While we spent that time fighting each other, they had to stick together and hide to survive. Fables and conjectures. Perhaps. But can we take the risk? The crown must be secured. The crown belongs to those who found it. Those are the rules. The quest for the gems should be completed. Only this way can we learn more about the crown and its powers. These deputies, well, they're not strong enough. No offense. Tell that to the crown. And they've done well enough so far, wouldn't you say? This is nonsense! Maybe the deputies would like to speak. After all, they are members of the council now, aren't they? With all due respect, we are confident that we can fulfill this quest ourselves. Hmm. Confidence? I like that. Preposterous! Five more gems to find. Do you even have a lead? Yes, the best lead possible. The crown itself tells us where to go. The Sorax will come after you. You know that. But you have our complete support in this struggle. Our thanks, Marshal. If that is all, may we conclude? I'd like to say a word, if that is appropriate. Of course, Your Highness. We're listening. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable residence near the palace. They would be safer there, don't you think? That would be my, I mean, our part in supporting the quest. <clears throat> your Highness, I must remind you that your decisions as head of state are not subject to council approval. Oh, right. Might I suggest that you reiterate your offer outside these walls? Of course. I beg the Council's pardon. Not at all, Your Highness. Then I think that is all? Thank you. The Legacy Council is now in recess. A word, please, deputies. What's up? Her Royal Highness asked me to reiterate her offer to accommodate you at the palace residence. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. A house for plenipotentiaries, emissaries, and other guests of the court. Sounds nice. You don't say. Where is this residence? In the palace. Ask for Ravensworth, a royal butler. He'll show you. Stay in the light, senior deputies. You too, Captain.
Clear skies, adventurers. Stay in the light, adventurers. <laughs>